Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a random vlog. Kyle and I kind of last minute spontaneously booked a trip to, booked, it's not really that far away. We planned a trip to Boston. Oh my gosh, the lighting is horrible in here. All right, I'm just gonna stay in here while I talk to you guys because the lighting in there is terrible. Um, last minute, we planned a trip to Boston today and we're gonna go to a Celtics game. Kyle had mentioned going to a Celtics game and I'm like, okay, well, for your birthday, I would love to go to the Celtics game on me or I was gonna get him a tattoo before his deployment. So he had a hard time choosing because he was really surprised by my idea, but he's like, let's go to the game because we're like all about experiences right now. We've done a ton of traveling the past couple months. So we're like, you know what, let's just, let's just go on another one. So we're just going to Boston for the night to watch the Celtics play. I love Boston, that's where I went to school. I went to college at Bay State and I just absolutely loved living in the city. I think in another life I could totally live there, um, like with my family and everything, but Maine is just home to me, which I have updates for you guys as well. We finally broke ground and lots of updates to come. I have to get ready because I wanna get down there and hopefully do a little bit of shopping. It's not looking like we're gonna have time to shop, but maybe we'll have time to grab like a bite to eat before we settle into the hotel and stuff um, because the game's at seven o'clock and um, Lately I have like so much fuzz floating around in my videos and I think it's because I need to dust. I'm not even going to show you my fan. It's disgusting. It looks like it's growing something. I do want to thank Tula for sponsoring today's video. I have some new Tula products I want to share with you guys. I have some ones that I've been using for months and months now. They're pretty much empty and I want to share those with you guys and yeah, I just essentially really need to get ready. So I'm going to go wash my face and then I'll come in here because the lighting's way better and I'll share my Tula products with you guys. Okay fresh face. I want to just talk about a few products first. So one of the Tula products that I have absolutely been loving is their Take Care and Nourish Advanced Hydrating Body Moisturizer. So let me just show you. First of all, this thing's humongous. It's like half the size of my head and it's almost gone. I've literally hit pan on it and I'm going to need some more, but this stuff is so thick. A little bit goes a long way and I just find that it really, really moisturizes my skin, but it doesn't leave me feeling greasy at all. And it just kind of has like a nice, like soft, refreshing scent to it. It's not perfumey, just really nice and soft. That's like the only way I can describe it. I love Tula products because they are clean and effective and they use probiotics and superfoods in all of their skincare. So not only does it make your skin feel good and look good, but it's truly like nourishing your skin and you're benefiting from the products as you wear them. So I just love the brand also. I love their mission. And like if you go on their Instagram, for example, and you look through their photos, you can tell they don't Photoshop like their photos or anything. They're not removing pores from people's faces. And it's just like very, refreshing honestly to see that by a skincare brand so love Tula but yes the body moisturizer one of my favorites another one of my favorites is their brightening vitamin c drops these come in like a little dropper bottle i love Tula packaging i think it's so cute and aesthetically pleasing um the packaging is actually really nice because it has one of those push tops for the dropper uh, and i just love applying this all over my face it's just like moisturizing but it really brightens and it's not like oily I know a lot of people who don't use serums um, at least for me like I always thought it was like an oil so I was like oh I don't really like want to put oil all over my face which there's a time for oil as well but um, yeah I know it just kind of freaks some people out but this is like a really thin nearly like watery and you just kind of blend it out and Feels like you didn't really put anything on at all except for your skin looks better after you're done so i just love it i go all the way down my neck as well i do this morning and night and it's just an easy step to add into your skincare it hardly takes any effort at all but the benefits are so worth the extra 30 seconds so i don't know if you can see like my skin is not greasy or anything at all it's just like nice and plump so highly recommend this one if you are looking for a brightening serum one of the other ones I like, this is also a brightening product. This is their Bright Start Vitamin C Antioxidant Brightening Moisturizer. This one is actually a moisturizer. This one I really like using before I apply my makeup. So I also, again, love the packaging of this. It's got like a large pump. So you really just need one pump, apply all over. Again, this is like not a greasy product at all. I always wonder if moisturizers are gonna be greasy because I just feel like that's kind of a common theme. If it's gonna be really moisturizing, I'm like, oh, is it gonna be greasy? And it's not, especially if you wanna apply makeup over the top. This is a great way to kind of prep and prime your skin. 
and it just leaves it feeling so nice. Oh, it's so nice. You guys can already see like that little bit of glow. I love their eye bombs. I've tried all of them. I love them, but the Rose Glow and Get It is my favorite. So I just like to kind of pop this under my eyes. I'm also going to be putting on an eye cream, so I probably should have done this one after the eye cream, but this just really brightens. This one does have a sheen to it, so I don't know if you guys can see that little bit of sheen. It's really nice under makeup because it just gives you kind of that like glow from within. It makes your eyes really bright and it's also hydrating and cooling as well. So the cooling is what I like. I love cooling products because they just make me feel like fresh and clean and depuffed. So Tula does have some new products. This one here that I'm about to talk about was like their number one request, I guess. That's what it said in um, the brief that they sent us for this campaign. And it is the Eye Recharge and Replenish Pro Firm Overnight Complex. So this is an overnight eye cream. Um, I'm actually going to pop a little bit on right now just to give you guys a little demo. But I've been using this. I have been loving it. I love um, the consistency of it. Again, the packaging is awesome. I'm just a sucker for packaging, so I always mention it in case people are packaged psychos like I am but the formulation is really really nice it's very hydrating it's a perfect night cream um, for your under eye and it also is not like too heavy sometimes I find eye creams can be too heavy for my skin and I just end up getting like clogged pores under my eyes and I haven't found that this has done that for me so let's get this little pump so it is a thicker formulation I do want to say that but a little tiny bit goes a very long way and I just like to tap it on. It is so buttery and moisturizing. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is very thick, but it's not heavy. Like it's almost, almost like a, I don't want to say a mousse because it's thicker than that, but kind of, it's like a hybrid between a mousse and a cream. This is the Beauty Sleep Overnight Repair Treatment. So I did use this a couple times or I have used this a couple times, and I do really, really love it. The only thing that is not my favorite about it is the scent is weird, but I do know with skincare products and like lip products, anything like that, sometimes I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I like the scent, and then if I use it for a week, I can't even smell it anymore, which is just like weird. I guess you just get used to it, but this product would be worth trying that with because I love the way my skin feels and looks in the morning. It doesn't smell bad when you smell it in the container, but when I put it on my face, it just wasn't my favorite. Helps boost the appearance of skin's firmness and smoothness. Um, reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It says it has the vitamin C and it helps give the appearance of brighter skin, which is probably why I like the look of my skin in the morning after wearing this. Um, helps maintain and lock in moisture and maintain skill, skin balance. And then the last product here I actually haven't used, but I'm going to use it in today's video before I apply my makeup. And this is the Prime Your Life Smoothing and Firming Treatment Primer. So... I'm excited to try this. I do really like Tula's primers. I've used quite a few of them in the past. Improve firmness and elasticity, minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, plus provide antioxidant, antioxidant protection, um, brighten the look of skin and plump skin with hydration. So I feel like I'm gonna be looking bright today. Definitely a thinner consistency, which I really like in primers. I like them to just kind of like blend out and not leave like a film or anything on my skin. Ooh. Okay, this one smells really good. Mm. Oh, this feels so nice. This might be my favorite primer I've tried by them. Granted, I haven't put my makeup on yet, but first impression is like 100% yes. Look at my skin. Are you kidding? I feel like my skin is like super prepped and ready for makeup. So I'm gonna go put some makeup on before Kyle gets home and he asks me what I've been doing all morning. Thank you again to Tula for sponsoring today's video. I do have a coupon code for you guys, so I'll leave it on the screen along with it down below in the description bar. I think it's Miss Riley for 15% off, so huge savings there. If you guys are interested in trying out any of these products, definitely use that code, and I will see you guys in a little bit after I get ready. Hey! We're swearing at the GPS over here. This is good. Together. <laughs> Man, how do people ever do anything without GPS? Oh, oh, oh. Can you imagine? Uh, yeah, like they think being on your phone is distracting. Try reading a map while you're driving. Or <laughs> and it's in your lap and you're like crinkling it and turning say it in different ways. A phone is distracting. What about 16 CDs up here? Remember those? Yes, I do. I saw a TikTok on that. I did too. TikTok. Fumbling around with those. So we just got in, or we're just getting into Boston now. It's we're in 3 o'clock. We're in Connecticut. Kyle. Now. 
three o'clock. <laughs> We're gonna check into our hotel. Not gonna have time to shop, are we, babe? No, we really wanted to go to H&M and Abercrombie and uh, Hello Kitty. What are, you, what are you talking about? They just came up with a new line. Hello Kitty. And, uh, and Avicii. Avicii. <laughs> Avicii. By the way, my shirt is from Vici. By the way. I have a code. I'll put it in the description. Under bar. Armour. I don't have a code, uh, but that'd be cool to be sponsored by Under Armour. That'd be sick. Still waiting to get sponsored by Miller Lite. <laughs> What's it called? I can't remember it. We don't need to know. For the life of me. Why, honey? I'm just kidding. It's the Harborside Inn. Harborside Inn. Grumpy. Well, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you fucking asked me three times in uh, 30 seconds. Oh, my God. It's cute, though. I like this big mirror. But Kyle thought he paid for a city view. <laughs> this is what we got. I mean, that's pretty much it, right? <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, it's super cute, though. It's a very old building. It kind of looks like it would be in a horror movie. We both... Decided on our way up in the elevator, which took like hours to get up here. Pretty bathroom money. Just staying here for one night. We really don't care. We're not picky. We just need a clean bed to sleep. Update on that Tula primer though. I feel like my foundation looks so good. I don't know where to get natural lighting because that window is like not really too outside, but um, Yeah, I wish you guys could see it in natural light because it looks so nice. It's making me look really yellow in here just because the lighting is... But I think it made my skin look really smooth and like my foundation just looks like flawless. It does look super like matte other than right here though. It's more matte than it normally is. So that's nice if you need like some oil control. I feel like this would probably be a good primer because um, I'm not greasy whatsoever. But yeah, very impressed. We're going to get cozied in. I'm going to touch up and get ready for the game and then I think we're gonna go grab a little snack and something to drink. All right guys, little outfit of the night. I have this little tank on from Zara. This I shared in a recent try on haul. Then I have my favorite cardigan from Target. These jeans are from Target as well. They're universal thread, um, super cute little high-waisted straight jeans. And then and I have my clear acrylic shoes on from Vici, which I have not shared on my channel yet, but oh, that made the lighting better. <laughs> I'm struggling here. I'm like a million miles per hour. I don't know why my anxiety is on like a solid six or seven. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I can't form sentences or function well when I'm feeling that way, but outfit, let's go get a drink. Mama needs one. to head out for a run um of course it's the one day i bring shorts to work out because i was like thinking that we were going to go to the gym but then we realized once we got here this hotel doesn't have a gym so <sighs> i'm probably going to be pretty cold uh but it's fine i'm excited to go for a run in the city because i used to do that all the time when i went to school in boston um i love running through the city it's just like there's so much to look at and the Celtics game last night was a fun game to watch but they lost and it was like a bad, it was a bad game. They blew it, they blew it. They yeah. did, they blew it at the end and it was like hard to watch. We were like, ah, oh. but it was fun because it was like close all the way up to the end. So that's always a fun game to watch. But um, yesterday, I don't know what my problem was, but I was having like wicked anxiety on the ride down and like I had some work stuff kind of go weird. I was supposed to post my Vici stuff but then I was like oh my gosh I never sent it over I was supposed to send it over the day before and I was like shoot we gotta stop I need wi-fi I need to like send them my pictures and stuff um before I post and so that like threw me for a loop because I was like stressed out about that and then I was sitting in the car 
like feeling like I didn't really know what to do to be productive with my time because it's like still a work day for me. Um, but yeah, I just felt like oh, I didn't know what to do with my nervous energy and I'm glad they got back to me so quick. They're like, you can go ahead and post and um, that made me feel better but I think that's kind of like when my anxiety started and then when we got here, I was like getting ready and stuff and I just like wasn't feeling it for some reason. My energy level was like low and I'm like, I just need a drink. I just need like a glass of wine so I can relax because I feel like once you start having anxiety, it kind of like builds and builds. And um, Kyle a few times was like, what's wrong? Like what's causing it? And I'm like, it's nothing. Like there's, n there's really nothing, you know, that can be like fixed or there's not like a one thing that's causing my anxiety. It's just like inside of me, I guess. I don't know. And then I almost had a panic attack before we got on the elevator for some reason. I think I'm starting to see like a pattern with my anxiety and I feel like I need to sit down with you guys and just like talk about it because it's something I've really, really been struggling with the past couple of months. Sorry, I don't know why my camera is doing that. I feel like I just need to like sit down and talk to you guys about it because I'm sure a ton of you guys can relate. But in the past couple of months, I've had like a couple panic attacks and it's horrifying. Like I wouldn't wish it upon anybody. It's really, really bad. So... I'm like finding a pattern to certain things that kind of trigger me and one of the things that apparently triggers me is like I don't know I can feel claustrophobic pretty easily um, I had like a little mini anxiety attack on a plane uh, when we where were we going honey when? oh Florida back in September mm -hmm. and I didn't even recognize it as like um, a little panic attack or anything. I just was like, oh, that was weird. I got really upset about being on a plane. But when we sat down, I just like started crying and like shaking and I'm like, what is, like, what is going on? I know I'm fine, but like, I don't feel okay. So it was weird that right before we got on the elevator, all of a sudden I was like, I'm gonna like, I don't know. It's weird. So anyway, like I said, I feel like I do want to sit down and talk to you guys about it. But yeah, yesterday was just kind of like, I was teeter tottering a panic attack like all day and I don't, I don't know why, I just, I just was. So hopefully today's better. Um, we're gonna go for a run, try to get some breakfast, and go from there. <laughs> You're free. We just got the kids from school. They're outside playing. I'm getting dinner started. They're <laughs> all rolling down the hill. You gonna roll up the hill? Sissy's got lollipop hanging from her ruffle. Right here. This little dress that she's wearing, guys, I thrifted. And um, the woman that was like checking me out, she's like, oh my gosh, the cutest little grandmother came in with like this whole bin of baby girl clothes. And she said they're like, literally a hundred years old. I died over this dress. I think it's the cutest thing literally in the world. <laughs> she looks like a little gremlin. She's a little drama. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 